What's up guys? Today I wanted to try and help you out by sharing some information while I was trying to install Rip X. So I guess it was last week sometime I uh, got the program and I emailed the company because I keep getting this setup failed. And I troubleshot it with all the bullshit out there about, you know, updating service pack one, everything, trying to brute force it. None of it worked. And today I actually checked my email and they got back to me and they're about as useful as used toilet paper. So you're paying a few hundred bucks for this program and they tell me to contact Microsoft. So I got on YouTube and I'm going to link in the description the program that runs through this Microsoft Visual C++ and it'll scan your entire computer. I'll link it in the description. You can download it from me. If not, I'll show you the video in a second that I found that was posted seven days ago from Major Geeks. And you're going to want to check their site out irregardless because you know this stuff is going to be updated over time and you might run into it with other programs so that's the error I was getting it wouldn't install it and basically what it did was ran through the whole thing it I got prompted a couple times that you know this file exists this one you know exists and all I did is click yeah okay and let it do its thing when it got done it finally installed RipX. So over here, you have Major uh, Geeks, and uh, you want to check the date here, like he says in this video here. And uh, this was April 8, 2022, and then you're going to click download the zip file. So after you download the zip file, you're going to want to run it. So over here, I already have the uh, rare file uploaded to Mediafire in the description. But when you download whatever you're doing, you're going to double click on this, okay? Now, I don't want to go ahead and do all this because I already did it. But just follow the prompts and then restart your computer. After you do, I, I didn't honestly even restart my computer. I just installed it and it worked. So you don't even need to do that. 